Aye. Aye. Ajono. Aye. From gun warriors. Aye. Nyobo. Come. To prayer warriors. Aye. Ne. Irel. Guns are put aside for a while and a prayer is conducted under a sacred tree in Amarel, West Pekot County. These young men are about to take part in what they call patrols. Aye. Aye. Ajono. Aye. They are technically Amarel's security forces. With no or countable government forces in some pockets, they have learned to be self-reliant. That is how volatile Amarel is. Pastoralist community, kitu ya kwanza subuhi wakiamuka, wanaenda kuchungusa migu ya adui kama wamekuja area yao. Na wakipata yo migu, wanakuja wanambia wazee. Oh, oh. When young children swim by the gun, it's obvious there is a lapse in security. And when a community acts as the army, then there is even a bigger gap. This is Kerio River, the boundary between Pokot Central and Baringo East. I'm standing on the Pokot side, the other side is Baringo East. Although such boundaries and resources like water and pasture, which are diminishing fast, still remain a major source of conflict, that is changing fast. Nowadays, I'm going to say that there are many Turkana and many of the Pokot. Yes, we know that the Biashara is very important. Yeah, wana umisa tu wa mama sababu wakienda enda hivyo hawezi kutoka huko wote. With the changing face of cattle rustling, each and every animal is now a target. Informers and planners of raids are now within closely knit communities. They are all illegally walking to meet the ever rising meat demand in the country. According to research conducted by a doctoral student in France, the meat black market in Kenya is estimated to be worth 60 billion shillings per year, and 4,000 heads of cattle are stolen every year in northern Kenya alone. We are going to deal with the country. David Mwolekimayo, the Inspector General of Police, knows the inside story. He was born and brought up in Marraquet, near the Pokot border, a region slowly coming out of the cattle rustling scourge. His master's thesis at the University of Nairobi in 2008 was nothing short of what he had grown up watching in despair as people butchered each other for cattle. What he tried to bring to an hold across all pastoralist communities through disarmament as the head of national focal point on small arms and light weapons. He carried out an extensive research titled Cattle Rustling Among Us, the Pokot and Marraquet. Yeah. The demographics, according to Kimayo, are changing at an alarming rate for the worse. It is no longer the theft of animals that we knew before. It has now come out very strongly that this heavy theft of animals has been turned into commercial. It has been commercialized. He worked closely with Tegla Lorupe, a peace ambassador who is helping reformed warriors from pastoralist communities to find alternative source of income. Long time when we talk to people like Matanda, even OSVD, when they steal cows from Turkana, even two weeks later you still go and trace where the animals are. But nowadays, they're still animals, you don't see where they, where they go. They disappear in the hair. They are ready, markets are people. I think the government, what they can do if they want to save this country, can always send people to these uh, uh, slaughterhouses and find out where the animal comes from. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same thing the people of Amarel told me, although they requested me to make the interview very short, for they cannot risk leaving the watering point unattended to, I was informed that even with the insecurity, a number of politicians from Baringo and Pokot take the risk to come to this particular watering point to hold meetings with the pastoralists. Kwa nini hii muda ya hapo nyuma, watu wamekua hawaibani vile, wamekua walikuwa wamenyamaza muda mrefu, lakini sasa imeanza sahi mfululizo. Inaonekana kuna kitu chini. Inaonekana kuna wanasiasa wamejificha mahali. Our people have been staying alone. It's only the issue where people now want to have the election that they, they only use to say, when I become so I will do this. What about yesterday? 
do these people did not have the mouth to think of a Samburu a kid going to North School, a Turkana, a Pokot, or Somali. But it is the aftermath of what was discussed in such secret meetings that most Kenyans will witness. Everything's money. What happened in the, in the, in the cows in Paraguay? Do you know where the cows went? When only the armed forces were, were only the security were killed, where did the animals go? Nobody can trace those animals. Mwanasiasa anesa itisha mkutano mahali kwa pasulis community. Anaongea chafu. Na anajiendea. Na gibunja ajui. Ameongea pale. Ameongea chafu na mtu ameenda. Nyuma moto na waka. The politicians and influential businessmen play their part, that of incitement and funding. And after the theft, the brokers come in. They will then cash in from the proceeds of the lost lives and stolen property. Wengi wao, ni wale wenye wanauza tu ikiwa ngombe hivo, ma brokers ndi wanaenda kuuza kwa wale wenye wanapeleka vichinjio. Somebody sitting in Nairobi and organizing these, uh, these issues. You find that even our cows are being, uh, you get this animal here in, in the Korea. So it's not a usual raid. Some of the livestock will be transported at night. And during the day in trucks, a good number of them will end up at the government owned Kenya Meat Commission, while others will be transported as ready to eat meat to various towns ending in your plate. There are quite a number of markets that we have in this country that animals are being slaughtered. The obvious known, known ones is the target that we are targeting and even unknown ones, even in the bush, people will slaughter animals in the bush and they bring them by vehicles now in the form of a meat now, not in the form of a live animal. They are eating their stolen meat. I don't say, even me also and yourself, we have been eat, eating also stolen meat from those areas. The same communities who are to be disarmed are the same ones who act as the army, guarding Kenya's poorest borders. But this report is the police who are part of the country, because the police who are a network. As a lot of people are in Nairobi. In Nairobi, they are in Nairobi, they are in Nairobi, and they are in Nairobi. While the Bokot and the Turkana have been protecting this country, like the army of this country, and with no remuneration, they find easy money through cattle rustling. The few roadblocks are manned by disgruntled officers who are part of the syndicate. That's not an issue. The issue is now equipping the officers properly. Right now I can tell you that we have only um, 170, 179 police divisions. I can estimate the 290. How much does a police earn? How much do you know, how much do you know they earn? Very little. Do you think I can go and stay in the desert? The back stops here. Judicus Gay, Citizen TV, Pokot.